relationship with the fans you've been instrumental in building it up we've noticed me and amy were talking the other day end of the warm-up if somebody's walking away not concentrating get back here get in front of the fans clap and yeah. then you go and get your final preparation yeah it's a, it's just an appreciation of uh, it's things that it's little things that i've picked up from my career when different captains that i've worked under and like i say i've tried to roll all them things into the way i conduct myself and <clears throat> excuse me and that's something that i've done at other clubs and it uh, and it's just an appreciation to show that the fans do come out and support us and, and we do appreciate it as players there's nothing more than we want as the fans getting behind us and like i say we can't affect things that are going on behind the scenes or anything like that we can just do our bit on the on the pitch and we appreciate everything the fans do for us how much time do you give yourself now to completely switch off before you start again Probably a couple of weeks. I've got um, I'm, I'm going, going to do my coaching badges in this this summer, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, once I get them out of the way, I'll be I'll be hitting the ground running again. And uh, as soon as sort of June heads up, I'll be uh, no doubt patting in the um, time I've got on Lazenby. Aiming to be at the front of the group when you get back in June. Fingers crossed. Yeah. I've, so like I say, you you said yourself, I've set myself a target now. I came back last year. I was fit, probably the fittest I've been. I spoke to Dolly, lost a lot of weight over the summer last year, and I'll be aiming to do the same again this season. Just on the.